Good morning, DJ Talk family. And how y'all doing today? First of all, welcome to the 89th episode of DJ Talk. Now, before we get started, I would like to send a shout out to everyone that is having a great week. But most importantly, hopefully all are having great success as well. Hopefully you all keep winning, keep that winning streak going and have much great success in the new week. So, like I said before, hopefully you all win. So if you are new to this channel, allow me to welcome you to D Nation family. So sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. But most importantly, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications, many more contents to come, many more episodes to come. But most importantly, many more surprises to come. So stay tuned for more. So without any further ado, let's get right to it. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about a topic. A topic very, very, but very interesting. A very interesting topic that we're going to be speaking about. Never been talked about here until today. We're going to be talking about acknowledging your gift. So, to everyone that have a question, what does it mean to acknowledge the, to acknowledge the gift? That's an interesting question. What do we say? It means to express gratitude and ob or obligation for it. It also can it can also mean to take notice or make known the receipt of something. Now there are multiple quotes that speak about acknowledging the gift. And it goes something like this. Number 1, Alfred North Whitehead says, "No one can achieve success does so without acknowledging the help of others. The wise and confident acknowledge this help with gratitude. Number two, Harvey McKay says, none of us got to where we are alone. Whether the assistance we receive was obviously or subtle, acknowledging someone's help is a big part of understanding the importance of saying thank you. Number three, Jan Scenario says, The key to growth is acknowledging your fear of the unknown and jumping in anyway. And number four, John McCain says, Our shared values define us more than our differences, and acknowledging those shared values can see through our challenges today if we have the wisdom to trust in them again. Number five, Amy Morin says, acknowledging the unproductive thoughts and ineffective behavior that you've tried to ignore can be uncomfortable, but stepping out of your comfort zone and choosing to proactively address bad habits will skyrocket your ability to create long-lasting change. Number six, Theodore Roosevelt says, Behind the ostensible government sits enthroned an invisible government owing no allegiance or acknowledging no responsibility to the people. Number seven. Ella Summers says, Appreciation is the language to, of the soul spoken fluently by those with hearts wide open. Number eight, Sophia Richardson says, Acknowledgement is the music that plays with when hearts harmonize in gratitude. Number nine, Liam Huxley says, Acknowledgement is the silent applause that echoes through the corridors of the heart. Number 10, Samuel Rutherford says, Appreciation is the compass guiding us toward deeper empathy and understanding. Number 11, Marcus Drake says, To acknowledge another is to paint strokes of kindness on the canvas 
of existence. Number 12, Isabel La Harrison says, Acknowledgement is the cornerstone upon which the palace of confidence is built. Number 13, Sophia Campbell says, Acknowledgement is the compass Guiding us towards the shores of empathy and understanding. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway, back to what we're talking about. Number 14, Nicholas Scott says, Acknowledgement is the bridge that connects hearts spanning the rivers of differences. Number 15, Ignatius of Loyola says, The acknowledgement of and gratitude for favors and gifts received is loved and esteemed in heaven and on earth. Number 16, Jack Canfield says, You can't heal what you don't acknowledge. Number 17, Lauren Hassel Anderson says, we have to acknowledge the adolescence is that time of transition where we begin to introduce to children that life isn't pretty, that there are difficult things, there are hard situations. It's not fair. Bad things happen to good people. Sad, but it's true. 18. Michael J. Knowles says, Liberation from meaning leaves us spectacle of truth itself, comfortable only to acknowledge your truth and my truth, confident only in the reality of subjective feelings rather than objective facts. Number 19, Jay Griffin says, if people can acknowledge, can't acknowledge the wisdom of indigenous culture, then that's their loss. Again, sad, but it's true. Number 20. John Hoeven says, On Earth Day, we celebrate all the gifts the world and nature make available to us. We recognize our complete dependence in on its bounty and we acknowledge the need for good stewardship to persevere its fruits for future generations number 21 then Ari Lee says even the most analytical thinkers are predictable iration the real smart ones acknowledge and address the address their irrationalities Number 22, Red Foe says, the haters want to hate. They want to talk about this and they want to talk about that. We don't even acknowledge it. Number 23, Joseph P. Piper says, to be conscious of gratitude is to acknowledge a gift. Number 24, from Because of Win dixie by Kate DiCamillo says, We appreciate the complicated and wonderful gifts you give us each of, and each other, and we appreciate the task you put down before us of loving each other the best we can, even as you love us. Number 25, Maya Angelou says, We can... We give cheerful and accept gratefully everyone is blessed. Number 26. Yogi Bahan says, An attitude of gratitude brings great things. Number 27. Marcel Proist says, Let us be grateful to people who makes us happy. They are the charming gardeners 
who make our soul blossom. Number 28, Mystery Person says, Gratitude turns what we have into enough. And last but not least, number 29, Robert Brathy says, Gratitude and attitude are not challenges. There are choices. So as we can see here, if we can learn to acknowledge our gifts and be thankful for everything that we have, great moments can happen to all of us. Not just one person, but all of us. It can make a huge difference in our lives. So much, it could happen though. Before I wrap this episode up, I just want to say this to everyone and hopefully it will touch your heart. Learn to acknowledge your gift and learn to appreciate it because there's a reason that is there so that you can learn to use it. Always keep that in mind. And for the people in the back, I'll repeat it again in case if you didn't hear it the first time. Learn to acknowledge your gift and learn to appreciate Learn to appreciate it because there's a reason that it is there so you can learn how to use it. So, with that being said, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And best believe good, th- good episodes are coming up. And every episode that comes out will be a sensation. And believe me, it will hit Right out of the ballpark. Every episode will go out of the ballpark. So with that being said, once again, stay tuned for the next episode of DJ Talk. Stay positive and never surrender. Peace out.